Dance is a language many cannot speak, but it is one that everyone understands. For choreographer Agnes Loxin, it is a language she speaks and understands best. These days, she's making her voice heard once again with her latest work, La Revolution Filipina. In it, she translates the words and thoughts of Apollinario Mabini into her own language. The result, a most powerful retelling of the Philippine Revolution. And six, seven, eight, boom. I usually go into a rehearsal hall quite cold, I mean blank. Mm -hmm. And then, um, usually the night before I'd listen to the music, I'd count the music. Sometimes I'd get an image, one image for a whole dance. And then I just go in and see where it goes. For Agnes Loxin, choreographing dances means listening to her heart. While she does research on the subjects she choreographs for, nothing is studied about the movements she creates. Movement has its own logic. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it's fascinating. Yeah. yeah it yes, will it is. ask for it. And this just comes to you at the moment. Yes. Moment of inspiration. Yes. She calls it neo-ethnic. Ballet fused with Filipino ethnic and folk dance elements. And this, she says, is what gives La Revolution Filipina its unique pulse. Offhand, no, thinking about it, I think that I have been preparing to do this piece for quite some time. Agnes has studied Filipino ethnic and folk dances from all over the country, and she has always been beguiled by them. She says the sincerity in which the dancers execute the movements is what gives them their unique charm, and from this she draws her inspiration. What we often see in, in Manila are folk dances given to us by the Bayanihan Dance Company or the Ramon Obusan Company. They're really quite excellent. But we see choreographed dances. You go to the regions, you see them dance in prayer, and you see improvisation. You see concentration. They go in to dance. Once I saw a Kayao, the Kayao uh, festival in Baguio, and they were dancing. Nobody was dancing the same way. They were all doing their thing, but they all looked alike in pulse in in rhythm mm -hmm. and in feeling feeling yes wait, wait. agnes fused these movements with apolinario mabini's writings and the music of ryan kayabyab the result was a revolutionary production agnes put in a number of revolutionary ideas herself she also used dialogue yes the greatest challenge of this piece actually mm -hmm. is the use of dialogue Ang pahayag ng kasarinlan ng alinmang bansang nais makawala sa mga kukol ang sinumang dayuhan ay nagsisilbing daan tungo sa paglawak ng pagkilos. At first, I thought it was going to be easy. Um, I've always been fascinated with theater. And this time, I put myself in a spot by getting an actor, Noni Buen Camino, to do Aguinaldo. We went through a lot of frustration <laughs> to mix the two, the two forms. Mm -hmm. How, because the, 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 the power of the spoken word mm -hmm. is, is really, you know, something to deal with. And movement is silent. Mm -hmm. So, ang tendency ng tao, titingin sa nagsasalita eh. mm -hmm. But the results were very encouraging. Agnes then ventured into something else. Can you imagine Apollinario Mabini, a paralytic, dancing? Agnes did. After reading on Mabini, I, I just sort of became a Mabini fan. Fan. <laughs> <laughs> you were not before you read about him? No. What did you think of him before you read about him? Intriguing, because he was a paralytic. Mm -hmm. And it was a challenge. That word keeps coming up. Um, what was the challenge, Agnes? Paralytic to dance. Uh-huh. And then I read about him and I, I realized that uh, he could move because he was such a passionate man. 
Mabini's anger and angst, as well as the emotions of the others, were perfect for the dance, and the movements were just as perfect for expressing the thoughts and feelings of the characters. Never mind if Mabini couldn't walk in real life. In La Revolution, Agnes explored all possible neo-ethnic interpretations. The, the ethnic posturing is more crouched. Mm -hmm. Footwork is very much grounded mm -hmm. with flexed feet mm -hmm. and uh, trance-like. The flexed foot is a characteristic of ethnic movement. Mm -hmm. Actually, nga, sa, if you look at the tribal dances, no, the foot is flexed and even the toes are up. Beautiful feet. Pero hanggang, ano, sometimes we, we also bring up the toes, but then it's in the rush. This, the, the flex foot na lang natitira. This movement with the hand that is a recurring theme yes this what does that mean it started out as Mabini's writing hand mm -hmm. no I don't like using props so I, I challenge myself to to explore movement instead of getting a pen mm -hmm. and writing mm -hmm. so with this hand position mm -hmm. Mabini could write on anything, make periods, exclamation point. Aha. Then again, it is also like a train of thought mm -hmm. or a sentence. As we went along, I, when I was choreographing the, the, the women sewing the Philippine flag, I said, oh, sige, hawak kayo ng karayom. Pok. Uy, pareho. Ah. <laughs> the same. And it, and it developed into like they were weaving history. there I wanted it long enough so I can weave I can weave there's a part when 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 they, the girls run and then and then the cloth goes up and one girl runs across so it's like a stitch ah okay that I isolated and then later on Aguinaldo and Mabini gets entangled in the flag because they in a way Aguinaldo was a victim Mm -hmm. For me, you know, uh, he did what he thought was best for the Philippines. It just wasn't good enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. But Mabini and, and Aguinaldo was so much entangled in Philippine history. Mm -hmm. So that's the... Bonifacio to say, go, go, I am with you. Mm -hmm. And then Mabini does the same to Aguinaldo, rather roughly, 
because he was trying to prop up Aguinaldo. Go, this is what you say. Ah. Okay. And and every time Mabini touches Aguinaldo, Aguinaldo would would go up. This is one of Agnes's favorite scenes. The members of the assembly gather for the Malolos Congress. Here, she demonstrates the crab mentality prevalent during the times. For Agnes, this scene is very significant because the issues addressed here still exist today. Basically, the pattern that I just kept in mind were crabs going on top of each other, pulling each other down. That was the constant image on my mind when I did uh, Malolos Congress. So it took me forever to choreograph it because every, everyone was do, doing something different. Reaction to this, pluck, reaction to that, pluck, somebody goes there, boom, pull down. And, uh, um, uh, and then using that, those arm movements that I choreographed before. And this brings Agnes now to one of the points of this dance, that even if dance as an art form is not popular among audiences, she hopes that for those who do watch, the message will hit home. What's the message that you want us to get? Basically, just what Mabini's message was that an external revolution is not enough. We have to have an internal revolution. We have to change from within to become a nation of one. What's the significance of that statement said 100 years ago? The circumstances were different then ano, from now. Mm -hmm. But still, that statement is is relevant today because well you just read the papers no and you see that we need we need to get our acts together one thing that Mabini said he wanted for other people in the world to say ah there goes a Filipino and be proud to know a Filipino mm -hmm. Maybe this revolution of dance will give that message. I. That is too much to, I know. It's a proud piece, isn't it? <laughs> it's just my way of uh, saying it. It's the only way I know how.